if you had the option to buy a TRD Sport Tacoma or a TRD Off-Road Tacoma, which one would you buy? Well, chances are you'd probably go with the TRD Off-Road only because of the rear locker. But do you really need a rear locker to be able to off-road? Yes. What if you're someone who prefers the TRD Sport option? You're probably left wondering, how good is the Sport off-roading? Well, this is a TRD Sport, and right over there, we got a bunch of hills where we can put this Sport to the test. So, let's find out. This thing is begging me to refuel. <laughs> I've never gotten to this point. I'm starting to get scared. But the gas station is right there. Dang, only 15 gallons. What's up, boo? Something's in my ass. Look, look at the time. No, okay, don't show the time. It's 11 in the morning. We just woke up, ready to go off-roading, and I don't know what else we're gonna get. Break into. some stuff for what? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for those that are watching the video for the first time, this guy right here is my off-road instructor. I pay this guy like 100 bucks an hour, so uh, he's supposed to teach me how to off-road. So let's see if he can really teach me. He drives a Jeep, so he should know how to off-road, right? I don't off-road my Jeep, though. It's a mock crawler. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully we can learn something new today. All right, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to be going through different types of obstacles in the Tacoma, starting from easy and then slowly moving my way up to harder obstacles. The moment that the Tacoma gets stuck in a certain obstacle, that's it. Challenge over. So, let's see how many obstacles a TRD Sport can get through. Come on. Alright, so before we get started, I'm going to air down because um, in the last off-roading video that I did, a lot of people were coming at me because I didn't air down, so this time I can't prepare. So, this is the first obstacle. This one we would consider easy as long as you have a lift and some wheels. So, he's going to go through the rocks. Let's go. Easy. See this tire over here, it's gonna get stuck. I think he's doing good. Nice. Oh, the slider might hit. Go, go, go. Nice. This TRD Sport makes it look easy. That was dope, dude. Dude, that, that was pretty cool. And that was just in four high, so not bad. So far, and, so good. Oh. This is the first obstacle, so it's going to get hard from here. So let's see what yeah, happens. Let's go on the next one. Go. All right, so I think the next obstacle is going to be this rock right here. I really hope you guys can see how, how bad it is, because I know on camera you can't really tell, but in person, it's actually pretty bad. Let's take a look. Stand right there. How does it look? Does it look bad? How are we looking? Dude, that looks crazy. Really? This is like what, 20 feet high? I don't know. How tall are you? Like five something? Five eight. <laughs> five eight. So like Pretty three short. of you. Jeez. That's crazy. And it's pretty steep too. Yeah. And it's like gravel everywhere. So it's kind of hard to, to go up. But I think this Tacoma could do it. So I'm going to try to go up this in two wheel drive first just to see if I can make it up. But I want to show you how bad it looks. Ugh. I'm slipping over here. <laughs> oh, no way. So something really important when off-roading is choosing the right lines. And that's where a lot of people mess up, especially if you're a noob, like this guy. Something's in my ass. You don't know what line to take and your wheels might spin. But if you take the right line and you're able to get contact on all four wheels, you will make it up pretty much to anything. Is this where the video's gonna end? No way. Yo, I think two-wheel drive. Turn on four-wheel drive. Yeah, I was in two-wheel drive. Oh, okay. Four-wheel drive. Let's see. All right, now he's gonna go back down on this side. This one's pretty sketchy because there's that, there's that big rock right there. But he has it. That four wheel drive, that's gonna look easy. Like butter. <laughs> All right, so I think now, let's step it up a little bit more. I 
think that right there is the next obstacle to hit. It's pretty steep. It looks like there's a lot of loose gravel, so let's see how the Tacoma does. You're gonna do it in four-wheel drive this time? All right, we'll try it in two-wheel drive just to see how far we can get. And then if I start spinning, then I'll put it in four-wheel drive. But so far, I haven't had the need to use four low, so hopefully we can stay that way. Does this truck have lockers or LSD? It has lockers, bro. And it's fully cool. locked. That's why it's staying on there, yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> I think I found the next obstacle. Next. What do you think? Let me drink my water in peace. Damn. <laughs> drink your water then. <laughs> We're gonna go up that next. All right, so I think I should go in four high because I don't want the truck to start spinning. I don't want to flip over. Yeah, I say go in four wheel drive high. All right, so we'll start there. Let's get it. Do it. So we'll see how the Gooner does on this one. All right, so I found this spot right here where I feel like the Tacoma is probably gonna struggle because of the way these rocks are set up. So I feel like right here is where it's gonna be spinning. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I can make it up in though. But so far, I haven't had the need to use four low, but I feel like right here, I think I will have to use four low. But let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Let's see if you can make it up this one. It's a pretty steep rock right here. wheels are spinning so right here we have the rear and the front spinning and this is where a locker would come into play because you would have traction on the other tire that's not spinning nice four low nice so four low is he gets power oh now he's getting stuck still four low gets power to the front and rear at a rear Spinning, but this one isn't. And that's because it's open. A locker would come into play right here. Head off, backing out. Turn your wheels my way. Turn your wheel my way. Go my way, my way, my way. More, more my way. Back up a little. Keep the wheel straight, turn right. Yeah, back up a little. More, more, right there. And then give it gas, bump it, bump it. Nah. Yeah, you're just gonna have to back out. No, I, I can so I, I, I can make that. You're not getting any traction. You messed me up, I was already up there. No, you weren't. Something's in my eyes. Right there, it's gonna drop on that side. So I, I would say bump it, give it gas right there. But it's straighten out the wheel, right? Go a little bit my way. Right, no, too much, too much. Right there, and just give it gas. Go. Go, 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 go. No. Hold up. And as you can see with Tacomas, if you're at an angle for too long, it'll start smoking out the rear. Something's in my Dude, I didn't think I was gonna make either. And that right there is proof that you don't really need a locker. You can still make it up some some trails, but um what other proof do you need? What other proof? That's if, more than enough. If you had a locker, you are you would have been on that one already. That one? That's easy, bro. <laughs> Let's hit that one next. No, I don't want to. Something Yo, so while you were going up, a bunch of smoke started coming out. What's that? 
Uh, it's just the tires burning rubber. Nah, it was coming from the exhaust, man. Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna end up there. I don't know what more proof you guys need. I think the TRD Sport did pretty good. Uh, we went through some pretty, I would say some pretty tough trails for a truck that has no rear locker. Uh, and it did pretty fine, but um, what more proof do you need? I think the TRD Sport is a good option for people that don't really do anything crazy off-roading. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So if you guys could help me reach that goal, I really appreciate it. Also, if you guys want to keep up with the Tacoma, make sure you follow my Instagram. I'll link it all down below. Until next time, Gooner, aka Dirt Goon. We'll see you in the next video.